If someone told me that a professor was going to take me to Alaska to work with sled dogs because I built a device for a class, I mean, I would have thought they were crazy. As we've been augmenting humans more and more, we've been looking outwards uh, away from ourselves to how can we use computers in the world to improve the environment? How can we use computers to improve the lives of animals? Fortunately here at Tech, we have a fairly pioneering professor, Melody Jackson, who has taken this emerging field that is you know, so comprehensive of many different technologies and many applications and has this uh, one semester long course. And it was the coolest class I've taken. We were basically given a prompt like, you can start any project you want, it just has to be focused on some sort of technology that helps both animals and people, mostly focusing on animals. And right away, all of a sudden, in my brain, it just like sparked that idea of Iditarod sled dogs. We pitched the idea to Melody and she was like, yes, this is awesome. Uh, let's, let's try sled dogs, that, that'll be great. There are other canine athletes that this would be applicable for. Um, one of those being canine assisted cross country or canny cross. So we built a device called WAGD, which stands for Wearable Activity and Gait Detection for Canine Athletes. What we're really focusing on is improving outcomes in those sports, helping to hopefully prevent injury by letting trainers and athletes know what kind of stress they're putting their uh, dogs under. Cole had somehow networked his way into communicating with an actual Iditarod musher uh, who was interested in talking to us. So when Melody found out that Cole had talked to an actual musher who was interested in working with us, Melody was like, if you guys can make this work, I will figure out a way to send you guys to Alaska. We got as much done as we could that was possible in the span of the class, but then we were like, well, we've got to continue this project after the semester. So we kept working on it. We had reached out to the musher, said, do you still want us to come up here? Are we still welcome? He said, yes, of course. And that was when it became a reality. <laughs> We got to meet our, our musher, Aaron. We got to meet his handler, uh, Mela, and actually all the dogs. We got to see how things were done, which was like, when you, when you have these assumptions, you can watch videos, but until you're there, you know, you're feeling the cold, the wind, you're hearing the dogs yelp and like get excited and just see them. We got like, feel what their fur is like, how they interact with the harness. It was, it was eye-opening. We got fueled by seeing these people and these dogs and it's like, let's make this better. Let's keep going. Sometimes, especially in the past, like I've had class projects that just end when the class ends. And it's also understandable if you didn't actually finish what you were trying to do by the end of the class because the class is over. But we decided it was more than just a class project and we want to continue it, you know? We're, we got to go to Alaska and maybe we'll go to Alaska again. I mean, who knows?